I am happy he is enjoying it. What are you doing today? I am not doing much. I am meeting some friends for lunch. But other than that, I don't have much to do today. You are so lucky. No, you are the lucky one. I would like to have so many things to do. Restaurants At a restaurant, there are many situations to talk about. At different situations, the conversation may be as follows. Inviting people for a meal 1. In this situation, the conversation may be as follows. Hi Chris, do you fancy going for lunch? Yeah, why not? Shall we say 12.30? Alright, see you then. Inviting people for a meal 2. In this situation, the conversation is as follows. Would you like to come for dinner? Yes, that would be great. Right. How would 7 o'clock be? Oh, I'm afraid I can't make it today. I've got something on. What about tomorrow, then? Yes, that would be fine. When arriving at a restaurant, the conversation may be as follows. Good evening, sir. Good evening. A table for two, please. Do you have a reservation? No, we haven't. One minute, please, sir. This way, please. Thank you. When ordering food, the conversation may be as follows. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'd like some chicken, please. The chicken, certainly. And one vegetable curry as well, please. And vegetable curry. And to drink? Have you got white wine? We have. Would you like to see the wine list? Just give us two glasses of house white, please. Congratulating. When something good happens to someone, we congratulate him or her to express our pleasure. See the following situations. Congratulating about his son's birthday. Hello, John. Congratulations on your son's birthday. Thank you, Mona. Nice party. Lots of people have come. I just invited my close friends. John, I'm in a hurry. See you later. Bye. Bye. See you. Congratulating about promotion. Hello, Rohit. Hi, Mona. Congratulations, Rohit, on your promotion as a project manager. Thank you, Mona. I worked very hard for this promotion. You deserve it. My best wishes. Good luck with your new position. It's very nice of you, Mona. Thank you once again. So, when are you going to treat us? I will treat you guys this weekend. See you. Bye. Bye, Mona. Telephone Telephoning skills and manners are very essential to be an efficient officer, secretary, receptionist, a personal assistant or an administrator. The language expressions you come across in the examples to follow can be of immense help to everyone when getting through to the right person. Telephonic Conversation 1 Hello, could I speak to Chris, please? Yes, speaking. Hi, this is Kavita from Dubai. Oh, hello Kavita, how are you? Telephonic Conversation 2 Hello, could I speak to Maria, please? I'm sorry, she's out at the moment. When do you expect her back? I think she'll be back in about an hour at the latest. Well, may I leave a message? Yes, of course. Would you please ask her to call Chris when she gets back? Okay. Does she know your number? I'm afraid she doesn't. My mobile is 9815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269815740269
Thank you very much. Advising. The following language expressions can be very useful in giving advice. Let us see some examples of sentences giving advice. See the following conversation. Thank you, Lucky. I enjoyed your lunch very much. Are you sure the curry wasn't too hot? I wouldn't mind a cold drink though. But I'm not sure. A cold drink is the best thing if you found the curry a little hot for you. It will probably make you hotter and even give you hiccups. Yes, I think Lucky is right. Can I offer you some fruit instead? A good idea. Why not have a slice of pineapple? They are very sweet and juicy. General Inquiries As the title suggests, these are about asking for information in various situations like at railway station, at airport, etc. See the following conversations. Could you please tell me where the platform ticket counter is? Platform ticket counter? Just walk along the corridor to the last window. Excuse me, has the Shatabdi Express left? No, it hasn't. It is still on the platform. Could you please tell me on which platform the Rajdhani Express is? It's on platform number 9. Where is platform number 9? It is to your right when you walk through the entrance gate. Yes and no. We use several language expressions to include full agreement, total agreement and agreement only on certain points and disagreement only on certain points. Let us see such conversations. Conversation 1. Do you think children should be punished at school? Definitely not. Then won't they take things easy and fool around? No, they won't if you advise them and handle them properly. I have to disagree with you. Sometimes disciplining them is necessary. In extreme cases, maybe. Conversation 2. The tax is unfair. Don't you think so? I'm afraid I disagree with you. Well, it's unfair to some people, perhaps. True, but then no tax is perfectly fair. Yes, on the other hand, it affects the rich rather than the poor. Saying thank you. You thank people when they say your work is good or you look good, when they have done something for you or have offered to do something. Let's see expressions used in thanking people. Conversation 1. Could you guide me in filling this form? Write your name here. Yes. Give your registration number. Yes. Sign here. Yes, thanks. That's okay. You are welcome. Skills and talents. Sometimes we speak about the physical or mental skills, talents or abilities we have or we don't have. For example, a job interviewer might want to find out what skills you possess for the job. Let us see the following conversation. Hina, what do you think of Rohit for this post? He is very capable, sir. You can appoint him. He is good at accounts and can prepare any type of accounting document. But we need somebody who is fluent in English. Don't worry, sir. He is good at English. Can he work on computers? I don't know how competent he is in operating computers. Even if he doesn't know computers, we can send him for a crash course. Is he capable of handling the type of people we have in our accounts department? Of course, he is good at handling people. Small talk. In most English-speaking countries, it is normal and necessary to make small talk in certain situations. Small talk is a casual form of conversation that breaks the ice or fills an awkward silence between people. Even though you may feel shy using your second language, it is sometimes considered rude to say nothing. 
just as there are certain times when small talk is appropriate. Let us see the following examples of small talk. I am a doctor. So am I. Have you seen the movie? Yes, I have. The pyramids are ancient monuments. Oh, is it so? Do you mind if I smoke? Not at all. 